Breaking news. Free pick just dropped the mic with this update. Yes, they did. And in my opinion, this just catapults free pick to the new number one as far as AI tools. We have the most amazing update. And it's also one of the most anticipated updates that people have been wanting. AI video is now in free pick. This does an amazing job. Just look at these incredible examples. So that leads us to this question. Does this new update now make FreePick the new number one? It's not just your typical AI video generator. I'll show you exactly why this one separates itself from all of the others. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I have an amazing prompt generator for specific AI videos and you'll definitely want to use it. That video is coming out soon, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. But first, let's go ahead and dive in to this new amazing update. So here we are over in FreePick and to use AI video, it's in the same place that we've become accustomed to. Just simply go to tools and then now select AI image generator. All of this magic is going to be over here directly on the left hand side. And then you can see it's just simply videos. Now I want to remind you to pay attention because throughout this video, I'm going to be popping up a few different surprises. So every so often there's going to be a prompt pop up. These are going to be specific AI video prompts that do such a good job. You're going to want to use them over and over again. So the first thing I want to show you is that not only do you have access to one video generator, you're gonna have access to all of the most popular ones. Check this out. Now, over here on the left-hand side, let's go ahead and now select video. Now, once it's selected on the left-hand side, right over here underneath mode, go ahead and select this. Look at all of these amazing options that we have. Luma Dream Machine, Runway Gen 3, Moki or Maki V1, Mini Max, and then look at this at the very bottom. Coming soon, Kling 1.5. Now, Kling's not available just yet because there's some bugs being worked worked out, but in a few times I did have access, I'll just tell you, it does a fantastic job. In fact, all of these are going to do incredibly well. And so you could actually see what I like about this is that it gives you a brief description on what each of these models or modes are best at. Now, one thing I do love about this right here is up here in the top left-hand corner, it has the opportunity to add a start and an end frame. Now look at this image here. She is morphing into a completely different environment. Start frame and end frame was chosen and she completely morphed into a completely different environment. The same thing could be said. Look how good this video looks in addition to even the one next to it. I can't tell you how impressed I have been with just about every single video I have made. And again, here is one more example to where, where I went just completely crazy with the end and start frame. Look at that. Amazing job that this can do. Now, the other thing I really love is going to be this option over here called effects. Now, after we click this, look at this right here. This is going to make it extremely easy to choose our different effects from static, moving left and right, panning, great effects to get you started to specifically choose your camera movement. So right off the bat, we're gonna get some of the best AI models for video and some good effects to help us get started. Now, the first thing you can do is you can just simply describe your video without a image to reference, and it will completely generate the video from scratch from a text to video standpoint. However, I don't recommend that way because the results I've been getting by first utilizing an image image for reference, image to video is going to do a much better job. So I'll just show you very quickly over here. I am in my history. Okay. As I begin to scroll down, just look at some of these amazing images I've been able to get. And what is going to make this so amazingly good is also because if I go to images on the left-hand side, all of these different modes from Mystic 1.0, 2.5, and the new 2.5 flexible generating images in free pick is going to be the number one way right now, in my opinion. You're right, Eric. You can also upload one. So if I go back to video on the left-hand side, you can see I can just go ahead and select a start frame. I can upload an image by dragging and dropping in this box, or I can go ahead and then choose a specific one that I already created. The other way, which is going to be probably my favorite way, is going to be, again, I'm in my history, okay? Let's go back to images and just look at all of my images in my history, okay? Now, the thing I love that makes this so easy is right here. I can select this button that says use image. Once I select use image, check this out instantly right away. I get all these options, but if I go ahead and select a video just with one simple click of a button, look up here in the top left hand corner. It automatically puts that image in here as my start frame. I can simply go ahead and then generate the video just by clicking one time within any specific image. And just like that, it goes ahead and creates the actual prompt 
that was used to actually create that image with the AI prompt. Now that that image is in here, now I can simply select mode and choose one of these options to go with. Let's go ahead and try this with Luma Dream Machine. I can also select my effect. For this one, I'll just choose static. And now I have my aspect ratio from 16.9 all the way down to 921 vertical ultra wide. Now, just like that, it's up here thinking. And then this process really doesn't take long at all. Now, look at this video right here of Sonic the Hedgehog. This is incredibly impressive. I can't believe it got this so right. Look at this one. Look how good this looks. This was all simply from just one simple image. Now, I do want to mention one thing. If we come over here to my Mega Prompts database, if you have access to it, I want you to notice two new things. Now, if you don't have access to it, for the best prompts databases you'll ever find, click the links in the description. But check this out. Over here, I am in my specific tab for free pick. Let's go ahead and expand this image. I can simply download this image from this database and now use it as a reference image in free pick. But notice this. Over here at the very top, there's a new tab called AI video. If you select AI video, check this out. I am now adding tons of prompts and prompt generators specifically for AI video. You can see these are gonna be all specific prompts. I even have prompt generators and some of the most useful and helpful cameras and lenses and scenes and movements that you'll definitely want to use. Now, as we come back to free pick, look at this. This video has already been completed. Look how good this actually does with my AI influencer, Luna. So simple, the panning movement and then the eye blinks, incredibly impressive. Now let's go ahead and add an end frame. I do have this image, so let's use this one right here as my end frame and now choose this one. And this time I have Minimax selected. <laughs> Now I have one secret I want to share with you. I won't spend too much time on the secret because I feel like it deserves its own video. So I'm over here in Claw. Now this could also work with ChatGPT as well, okay? I did it in actually both. But what I did was I have a PDF that I uploaded. If I open this PDF, you could see on the right hand side, it just contains a ton of stuff, okay? What I actually did was I scoured the internet for all these different how-to guides, okay? How-to guides, different uh, tutorials, including some of the best examples examples of cameras and also best lenses. So I have all of this massive information right here on this Canva doc. And then I converted it over here on the right hand side. I downloaded this into a standard PDF file. And now once I had it downloaded, I just went ahead and uploaded the large PDF. And then I told it this specifically, look over here, right here where I'm highlighting. I basically said, take all the information in this PDF, generate a series of prompts and prompt generators. Then at the very end, give me a prompt template that I can use for AI video generation. So taking all of that into consideration, it gave me all of this amazing information, including what you see right here, this amazing prompt template, and then just replace anything within the bracketed text to create the most amazing AI videos. I'll make a full video detailing exactly how to do this step by step, but just know you can upload a massive PDF with tons of information, put it into chat GPT or Claude, and then you can get a ton of prompts completely based off of all that information. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching.